It's another thing when you're homeless and you're straight. Jeff Stearns, connected through cars. If they're bigwigs, we'll have them on the show. And yes, we'll talk about cars and everything else. Here he is now, Jeff Stearns. I was actually on the street in Miami and I was a paranoid freak. Like I used to laugh at those people that got paranoid, but then I became that person. Everybody was the FBI, everything. And I, was, and I wouldn't beg for money. I would never ask for money. And a woman came up to me and handed me a $20 bill. And she just looked at me and she says, you'll know what to do with this. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I got myself to this train station in Miami and I took a train up to Delray Beach and I signed myself into a detox. Public de- It's called DAF. It's public detox. So I went to that detox, got out. I wound up getting into a halfway house. And the way that worked out is uh, my best friend from New Jersey. Uh, we lived, you know, together when we were kids and, you know, sold vacuum cleaners door to door for Electrolux, whatever. He's an attorney now. I called him. Now he lives in Western Jersey. And um, through a set of circumstances, I was I was back on the street, but now I'm straight, right? It's one thing if you're getting drinking and drugging and you're and you're homeless. It's another thing when you're homeless and you're straight. And that's when the horror of being homeless is really like it's just like it, it's really it's like mind boggling. You can't even believe that you're in the position. And I called um, I called him. And I was like, hey, you know, his wife picked up the phone. I'm like, hey, Cindy, is uh, is Joe there? She's like, uh, Tony? I'm like, yeah. She's like, uh, he's not here. Uh, she's like, are you okay? Now, she had known that things weren't going well. You know, they've been, t- you know, talking to my parents and, you know, my mom's sober 42 years. Uh, my father is sober, I think, 39 years. And, um, you know, good Irish Catholic boy. You know, my my sister did her 21 and me, uh, you know, 99 point. Uh, 99.8% Irish, which is like almost impossible. Um, but I, but I've got the 23 me to prove it. So anyway, so she, she, uh, he called, Joe ends up calling me. Now there were still pay phones back then. So Joe calls me. Um, I'm just standing by the pay phone. Joe calls me. He's like, Hey, what's going on? You're right. I'm like, nah, I'm not okay. You know, I'm on the street. Um, he's like, yeah, no, you've been on the street for a while. I'm like, yeah. He's like, um, well, where are you? And I'm like, I'm in Lake Worth. And he's like, okay. He's like, well, where in Lake Worth? Or well, first I said Florida. So he goes, he goes, yeah. Well, of course you're in Florida. He's like, where? I'm like, I'm in Lake Worth. And he's like, where in Lake Worth are you? I'm like thinking to myself, like, what the hell is he asking me this for? And I was on like federal and whatever block it was, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, whatever it was. And he's like, and then I hear him turn to somebody that turned out to be another buddy of mine. We were all in AA. We were all golfers. I mean, shit, at the time, I was still a scratch handicap in that kind of condition. I couldn't have played to it then, but, you know. So I hear him um, say, hey, um, how far are we from Federal and 12th? And then I hear my other buddy, Alan, go, tell him we'll be there in two minutes. They were literally around the corner. Guardian Angels. Guardian Angels. Scooped me up, took me down to uh, Delray. I went into one of the AA clubhouses, picked up a phone number off the wall, and they paid to get me into that halfway house. I wound up working for a buddy of mine. He had a call. He had a uh, call room. Started working for him. Uh, built his room. After I was six months sober, I raised 180 grand. I started a company that got people out of credit card debt. And three years later, I had 400 employees. You know, with that 180 grand that I raised, um, we did 81 million in revenue, 90, 19 million to the bottom line. So, you know, I got back on my feet again. You know, I, you know, like everything was, you know, everything changed, Jeff. Everything changed. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars. 